Hey, hey. Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over basically your, your order management. So creating an invoice, uh, managing orders that come in, and shipping or fulfilling your orders. So um, you're going to start by going to orders on the left. And the first time you go to it, it's going to look like this, but normally it'll be your list of orders. So you're just going to click um, create order. So we are going to um, basically go through like we're sending myself a invoice. I'm going to go like I'm paying it and then I'm going to show you what we would do from there. So a few things on here to make an invoice. Normally you can just start typing for the product you're looking for, choose which size, add to order, or hit browse products and look for them this way. But in this case, I'm just to make it easier um, so that it doesn't affect your inventory. And also if you ever wanted an invoice for something that's already not in your inventory, hit add custom item. And then I'm just gonna name it test. I'm gonna call it $5. And we're gonna require shipping because I wanna show you what to do with an order that needs to be shipped. So save line item. So I just wanna mention the discount aspect here. Um, cause when you invoice someone, they can't use a code at checkout or anything, but you can add a discount here. So, um, you can either hit it here and add a dollar amount or percentage and that's per line item. So like if you had five items, you could add a different discount on every item or just on one versus add discount here, um, adds it to the whole cart. So that's kind of the difference. So we're going to mark this down, um, to zero because this is just a test order uh, and then next is add shipping so it, normally when you're sending an invoice you don't even need to touch that um, but if you want to charge someone more or less than your usual rates then you would want to click on it and then you can either charge them more like if it's a wholesale d stash order and you need to charge them more shipping or you can do free shipping which is what we're going to do in this case so if you do put something under shipping it's always going to override your normal rules um, and then for taxes, you just want to leave that alone. Even in the settings, you want to just leave that alone. Shopify bases it off of your address, and it does already figure everything out for you. Um, so right now it's showing, but once I actually um, send the invoice and the customer puts in their address, it's going to tax appropriately or not tax if they're out of state, for example. So you don't need to worry about that. And then on the right here, something to know is find or create customer. Now, if you already have a customer in your account, so if you don't have a customer in your account, you're just gonna hit email invoice, and then you're gonna enter the email here that you wanna send it to, and then hit review email, and then send. If you're sending it to someone who already is a customer, you can find them over here, click on them, and then it's gonna already have their information. So, and then you just hit email invoice, but either way. So I'm going to just email the invoice. Okay. So now I'm going on my phone right now to um, pay my invoice. I mean, it's zeroed out. So and then I'm going to show you what you do after the order comes in. Okay, so the orders come in. So now if, if a customer has paid for your order, you're gonna get an email alerting you of the order. And then if you go home right here, it's gonna say one order to fulfill. And then if you go to orders, it's gonna be on your order list. So this is now what your order list, when you click orders, this is what you're gonna see. And on the top here, if you click open, that's always just gonna show you whatever you still have to worry about, the things that are not fulfilled yet. Um, if you do have someone pay for something in person, it's going to automatically fulfill so it won't show under the open. But using POS is another story that I'll have to go over. <laughs> so once your order comes in, you can click on the order number and then you can fulfill it. So there's two different ways. You can either hit mark as fulfilled and then... Um, you can leave this blank. Like if someone's picking up, for example, you would just uncheck send shipment details to your customer because there are no shipment details. So
So it'll send them an email that says your order has shipped and it'll confuse them and da 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 da. So if they're picking up or they came by but then they paid an invoice, whatever the case may be, you need to fulfill it without shipping. This is what you do and then just click fulfill items. But we're going to just pretend that we're actually going to ship this item. So all you do is hit create shipping label. And um, this, don't mind these errors, it's just because this is a demo account, so it's not set up properly. But um, on here, the honestly, the, um, the size of the package, unless it's like oversized, really doesn't matter much. I'll bet you can hit add package and do carrier packaging, USPS, if you're looking for the um, flat rates. Like I use the flat rate padded mailers a lot. Um, and if you want to add it to your regular list so that you don't have to hit add packaging again, click on it and click save this package for future use. And then it'll always be on your main list. Uh, but if this is not going to be flat rate, then you do want to at least weigh it. So this is where you're going to want to scale. And so you're going to package your order like it's ready to go. And then you're going to weigh it. And then you're going to put in, you know, whatever amount of ounces it is and then down here it's going to show you so normally oh this is what it's not showing me because my account's not fully set up but normally it would show you usps and ups every once in a while ups is a little cheaper these rates are um you know the discounted business rates and in my experience these are less than paypal um but you know, I mean, every there's so many different ways to ship. Um, I recommend using the internal Shopify shipping here, but totally up to you. Um, if and when your store volume hits like fifteen to twenty thousand monthly, you may want to upgrade to the seventy nine dollar plan. You'll save a little bit on your credit card processing fees and a little bit more on your labels too. But in the beginning, when you're less than fifteen thousand volume, the um, twenty nine dollar plan is fine. So anyway, you're going to pick whichever one is appropriate, and then you would hit buy shipping label. Um, so what happens um, to the charges, and I like this, but some people don't, rather than being charged at that moment for the $6 here, $5 here, $4 here, it adds it all to your next monthly Shopify bill. Now, if you if you're shipping charges, if you're doing a lot of shipping, and it adds up to $240, then it will go ahead and charge you at that point and then start tallying up on the next bill. So basically like it's almost like a, um, I don't know, like a credit. And once you go past your limit, which is 240, they'll charge you and then the rest will go on your next bill. But that's how the billing works um, for that. And then uh, anyway, normally once you hit buy shipping label, um, you're gonna, it's gonna download the actual shipping label for you and then you can just print it. So you can either print it on a regular printer, with, which is what it's gonna be set up to do normally, um, which is like if you get the label sheets from Amazon that are two to a sheet stickers, that's what those would be. Um, so that's one option. Or if you have a Dymo, um, then you can use that as well. And let me just show you how. But first, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. So. This time you will email shipment details to customer and it'll already be checked and everything. Um, so yeah, as soon as you click that buy button, it's gonna email your um, tracking number to the customer and say that your order's been shipped. And then Shopify has emails, you know, once it's um, out for delivery that day, once it's actually delivered, all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to worry about any of that, that's gonna happen automatically. Now, if you have a Dymo, you can go down here to the settings, shipping, and then you're just going to scroll down to label format, and you're just going to choose 4.6, 4 by 6, sorry, um, for the Dymo, and then hit save. Uh, well, like I said, my account's all weird because it's just a demo account. But anyway, um... So that's everything on here. Good luck with your orders.